And now, ladies and gentlemen, from SUSE, please welcome Senior Product Manager Joe Werner and Technology Specialist Don Vosper. He's in production. He got massive uptime. He used open standards. He won Elite Hacker. He got... Good morning. Are you waiting for a response? Or are you going to... <laughs> He's starting to choke before we oh, even sorry. started the thing. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk a bit about bringing salt to the enterprise. Um, just let me check, who was in the room last year when Suze was first on stage at SaltConf? Oh, quite a few. Okay. For the others, I'll have a slide with the recording from last year so I don't have to repeat myself. So for Don and myself, being here in Salt Palace is kind of like coming home. For many, many years, this was the place where Noel had their brain share, and Suze, being part of Noel since uh, 2004, um, was part of that. So that's when <laughs> we took those. Yeah, it's great. Nice and pixelated. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so as I've mentioned, um, last year's talk is up on YouTube, so I won't go into too many details about what SUSE is doing. We'll just basically bring you up to speed with what's new. First of all, what's new this year is we have our 20, uh, 25th anniversary. So we've been doing Linux for 25 years. How many of you are younger than 25? Oh, huh? me too. A yeah, wow. Yeah. The other news you may or may not have heard is that SUSE is now part of Microfocus, which after the merger with HPE software is the seventh largest pure software company you probably have never heard of. <laughs> so we have a huge portfolio um, that basically spans all the traditional HPE um, software management stack uh, down to the product lines that, that were initially inherit, inherited from Novell and of course SUSE as an independent business unit within that company. Last year, I talked a lot about the SUSE portfolio, but we were still basically talking about what we do with the OS, how we build operating system images, how we manage them. Uh, in the last one and a half years, SUSE has changed. We are now basically a provider for software-defined infrastructure. The OS, of course, still is a core component. SUSE Linux Enterprise 12, now in Service Pack 3, is still the core of our business, but there's so many more pieces um, to the puzzle. We have OpenStack Cloud, um, which is now merging with the AP HPE Helion uh, solutions after our acquisition of those assets from HPE, um, making us not only the first company um, who packaged up OpenStack for the enterprise, but now also uh, one with the largest, one of the largest customer bases together with the HPE customer base. Uh, we released Container as a service platform, which combines Kubernetes, and on top of that, later this year or early next year, we are going to ship what we call the Container Application Platform, which is our Cloud Foundry based um, platform as a service solution. So you can see we basically now have a very complete portfolio around uh, software-defined infrastructure um, from just plain operating system through virtualization, cloud, public cloud, uh, to actually a platform as a service. We also have been very, very successful with SUSE Enterprise Storage, and that's one of the products that um, you sold under the hood for setting up the cluster. Just recently, one of our um, partners um, demonstrated um, setting up a 4.5 petabyte cluster with, I think, more than 1,000 physical nodes uh, with SUSE Enterprise Storage using SALT. Another thing I want to talk about very briefly today, and we'll dive into some of the technologies behind it in a minute, is our SUSE Linux Enterprise uh, point of service solution that we are merging with SUSE Manager, our systems management product, into a new product called SUSE Manager for Retail. And there are two things um, that make this product special. 
First of all, we have managed to use a technology that we are calling formulas with forms um, to make configuring the branch offices in such a diverse retail infrastructure really, really easy for the admins. And second, um, this traditionally has been a Pixie boot solution, Pixie boot where all the, the actual point of service devices boot off the network in the branch office. Um, again, we have made use of salt in that stack to simplify the stack massively. We'll basically be able to boot right into a RAM disk image that starts salt and everything else, partitioning the disk, downloading the actual image that is going to be deployed uh, on hard disk is going to, to use salt. But aren't you kind of leaving out the most important thing? I mean, SUSE Manager with salt is where we got started the first graphical UI for salt. And we were here last year talking about that. You really haven't mentioned much about it. Yeah, right. Um, and actually, we now have over 1,000 SUSE Manager installations on this planet. So I, I think it was, was just about time to aim a bit higher. You know, you may have wondered what all those um, training missions that Tom and, and, and Mark and Alex have gone through are about. Why are they training for a planetary mission? Um, well, the reason is that we are now bringing salt to the enterprise. And we mean literally. <laughs> it's awesome, right? So today, SUSE is announcing our first interplanetary deployment of SUSE Manager on the Constellation class refit uh, ship, um, USS Enterprise. And Don is going to guide you through some of that in his demo. Okay. So last night at the party, I met a Vulcan. And uh, this Vulcan told me that uh, her name was Mr. Spock, and she wasn't able to join us this morning, but she gave me all of her credentials to be able to manage the enterprise. So here we go, right? So uh, I'm going to sign in as Spock here to the SUSE manager server, because here in the 23rd century, uh, I still need to manage my systems. And SALT, after, after all, we heard this morning that SALT is future-proof. This is actually the evidence of that. So I don't have to manage it just by myself. I actually have assistance, electronic assistance, because, you know, we are on the enterprise. So computer, ask security subsystem. Authorization required. My name is Mr. Spock. Authorization, Mr. Spock accepted. Yes. Iterate groups. Tactical, crew support, recreational. Hmm, okay, so I'm going to take a look at these groups and see if I can't figure out. There was out. a problem with the requested skills oh, response. Stop. So I, I look at my groups, and now I've got these red things that tell me something's going wrong here. And I'm kind of worried that, um, that maybe my bridge computer or some of the more functional tactical things are important. So computer, list systems. Systems include Islam, Buddhism, Christianity, Judaism, and the Baha'i faith. All right. For more, check out the Alexa app. I guess he, he wants you to authenticate one All more right, time. I'll, I'll authenticate <laughs> a Spock again. Computer, ask, computer, come on. Ask security subsystem. Mm. Oh, she didn't like me. So I'm, I'm going to bypass the computer at this point. Sorry, it looks like I didn't hear you correctly. Please try again. This is why Mr. Spock is the most powerful guy. So um, I'm going to take a look at my systems because security vulnerability is important to me 
uh, even here in the 23rd century. And obviously I've got uh, updates available to me, but I wanna know specifically what vulnerabilities I ha have. So if I, I can do an audit based on uh, security vulnerabilities, whether it's in the future or past vulnerabilities, and know if I'm still patched and up to date. And it looks like um, I've got some computers that aren't patched. And the unique thing with SUSE Manager is that we use salt to uh, initiate everything underneath the covers. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate a patch on my life support control unit. If I click on the actual name of the patch, it lets me apply it directly from there. So I'm going to go back here. Hang on. This is a live demo, and there are things that have gone wrong, so I love you too. So you can see when I click on the patch, it takes me directly to the place where I can remedy it. So I have, I'm going to patch both the holodeck and life support control at this point and apply the patches. And I can schedule that to occur whenever I wish. And I'm going to send it to go right now and then hand the, the baton back over to Joe. But wait a minute. So this is a Constitution class refit chip and it has a holodeck? A holodeck, well, everybody has to have fun now and then. Okay. Last night was proof of that, right? Okay, so that's another update they got. Okay. Well, while Don is doing the patching, let me just talk a bit about open source and what uh, Ross Gartler from Microsoft, who is actually uh, the director of the Apache Foundation, calls combinatorial innovation. One of the patterns he found in open source development is sometimes great stuff is achieved by just combining two projects that look like pretty much everyday stuff, but when you combine them, they become really powerful. And I think we achieved some of that with the formulas with forms, which in a nutshell basically are salt formulas, which again are just, you know, you take a folder, you put in a stuff of uh, a bunch of uh, salt states and you follow some convention. And we added one more convention that said, okay, if you take those examples for the pillars, the, the um, parameters that you can use to customize your formula or your salt states and just annotate it a bit so that a computer can figure out, okay, this seems to be a pull down. This seems to be a Boolean where I, I display a, a checkbox in the browser. We could make this really, really powerful and bring together UI experience for configuring systems with that um, configuration as code approach that people um, in the DevOps world love so much about salt and other configuration uh, management frameworks. And again, if Don is ready, I'd like to hand over to Don again, um, who is going to show us some of those formulas with forms. I think, did we have them on there? Yeah, I'm ready to do that. So before then, remember we started this patch cycle and we wanted to, uh, I'm gonna show you an example of a completed system here. Now life support says that it's patched. So I'm gonna rerun my security audit just like before with the same CVE number. And we'll see if life support system is now green and happy. Yes, right at the top, life support control is green and patched. So awesome, right? So Joe said uh, formulas with forms are an important part and formulas, salt construct, integrated directly into uh, SUSE manager. So I'm going to go to the bridge and if I look at formulas, which is a separate column, I see all the potential formulas that can be assigned to my system. And I can assign it directly from here. And when, as soon as I click on the checkbox for the formula, it actually modifies the user interface and creates a, a place for me to enter the locale where I can tell exactly what time zone it's supposed to be in. And obviously, the enterprise is here in mountain time, right? So I put that in there and made sure I applied my locale and saved the formula 
and it goes directly to my system. So that's how we integrate it, Joe. Cool. So there's another thing that we did. Um, I mentioned that earlier as part of the um, SUSE manager for retail. Um, maybe can we go back one more time to the slides? Yeah. So SUSE has been provisioning Linux for 25 years. Um, when we started doing that, most people were used to those um, 3.5 uh, inch floppies or even the, uh, the, the, the really floppy ones before that. Um, Windows had like, I don't know, a couple of disks. Um, we had to start using DVDs pretty early because SUSE has always been shipping with lots of applications. So we had CDs, we had DVDs, um, we had very nice installers. This is an early version of our Yast installer, um, all in German, of course, uh, from 97, so about 20 years old. Um, later, it looked more like this, much more graphical. Uh, we still have Yast and we have an automation framework as part of Yast that's called AutoYast that allows you to configure systems using XML templates. But I think it was time to take the next step. Uh, I've been talking about pixie booting with salt and that's really something cool um, that we are um, inventing for our next version of the SUSE manager for retail. So in a nutshell, what we're doing is we bring up a minimal system in RAM that directly connects to a salt master and we've uh, submitted a patch request, uh, a pull request that uh, even makes it easy to secure that connection even more because we can send grains from the system um, that are kind of secrets like a serial number um, that no one can easily guess or a UUID the system or the TPM on the system has created for you. So you can create whitelists and automatically accept minions based on secrets that are very hard to guess. And remember, the connection between a salt minion and the salt master is secured by, a, uh, by AES uh, encryption from the very first contact on. So this is going to revolutionize um, how many steps you need to provision a fresh system because there won't be any need for AutoYast anymore or Kickstart if you're running Red Hat or any other provisioning frameworks. You basically go from boot up something in RAM and everything else, partitioning, downloading the software, uh, configuring your applications can be done with just a salt server. And the cool thing is uh, you can also query the machines first. So if the first thing you want to do is, okay, let's just run an inventory of all the stuff on the box or figure out if the box has enough RAM and then decide, okay, I need to use a different image, um, either automatically as part of your um, salt states or manually. This is all possible because you have um, the live connection through the message bus. Yeah. Um, there is a talk um, later today, 11.45, where I explain a bit more on the salt formulas and the pixie boot. Um, but maybe Don, can you very quickly show us how we set up uh, the pixie boot again with the formulas, uh, with forms in SUSE Manager? Sure, be glad to. So uh, as we've mentioned multiple times, salt is a key element of SUSE Manager. In fact, I can display the high state of any system or even control a group of systems high state and target that and trigger a, an application of that state. But in this case, we're wanting to look at formulas because as Joe mentioned, uh, booting from salt and pixie booting is an important element of go forward, especially with, with SUSE Manager for retail. So as you can see, this formula has already been assigned to the system, salt boot. So when I look particularly at this salt boot formula, it takes me through a previous and next, so I can go through multiple screens where I'm showing what disk partitioning, for example, is set up. And it asks me all the relevant information, even filling in the default templates for me to be able to create this formula and apply it to my system. And again, when I do a save formula, the ad hoc information that I might have typed into the screen gets saved to that salt formula for application to the box. Great. So we back are almost slides. at yeah, the end of the slides. presentation. Let me briefly wrap up what SUSE is currently doing with uh, SALT. 
Let's so you need to tell them to go back to slides. So yes. Can, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Um, so we've mentioned SUSE Manager and its new um, SUSE Manager for retail um, variety. Um, SUSE Enterprise Storage, which is using a project called Deep Sea Salt-based library um, to provision Ceph-based storage um, nodes. The SUSE Container as a Service platform, which is basically uh, an easy to set up Kubernetes cluster, is using Salt for setting up and configuring the Kubernetes cluster. We are using SUSE, uh, at SUSE we are using Salt a lot for our own testing, our infrastructure management for both the open SUSE project where we are providing build capacities for a lot of open source projects where we are uh, building daily um, uh, builds of our rolling release, the Tumbleweed release, and um, even the, the SUSE public cloud team is now embracing Salt Cloud as an abstraction layer where they can provide templates that, that can be used in all the public clouds SUSE runs on, like AWS, like Google Cloud Engine, or like Microsoft Azure. So uh, within just about one and a half to two years, Salt really went viral within SUSE as a company, both on the product side and internally, and that's a great success, I think. And of course, we support all that um, through our um, support teams. Um, the guys who are supporting um, the United um, Federation of Planets are sitting in Provo in that Area 51, yeah? So that's a real office. <laughs> it's uh, really just a, a. We've been to Area 51. Yeah, we've we? been there. Yeah. We've been there. I, I actually I was there on Monday, so only a few days ago. And again, there is another talk from Klaus and Pablo um, of our SUSE manager team uh, at 10:45, more or less, right after the keynote sessions, um, where we talk about Solid SUSE for continuous integration, infrastructure management, and and QA. Now, um, Don, I would really like to try this out myself. Can I? Oh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I think, I'm, I'm I, not sure you have clearance to do this. I'll give it a try. So, computer is listening. Computer, ask security subsystem. Authorization required. My name is Admiral Kirk. Initiating self-destruction sequence. Starship will explode in 30 seconds. Starship will explode in 25 seconds. Starship will explode in 20 seconds. Starship will explode in...